You don't have one, right? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. <laughs> Good morning, my friends, and happy, what are we with today? Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. So today we're going to start with Miss Amanda and do our music and movement. Then I, Miss Tessa, will do calendar with you. And then after we'll have Miss Vanessa read a book. Read a book. After that, we have an interactive activity with me. So let's get started. And I will pin Miss Amanda. Spotlight. Yay! All right, my friends, give me a thumbs up if you're ready for sickle time. Ooh, yay, I see lots of thumbs up. All right, we're going to warm up our hands, do our good morning songs. Ready? And we have our special sign language for thank you. All right, ready? One, two, three. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I think you. Very well, I think you. How about you? How about you? Good job trying out that sign language. Give me a sign language clap. All right, we're gonna do it in Espanol. And how do we say thank you in Espanol? That's right, gracias. Ready? Uno, dos, tres. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Como estas? Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Y usted? Good job, my friends. Give me a rainbow clap. <laughs> All right, we are going to do it in. Mandarin. How do we say thank you in Mandarin? Hmm. That's right, it's xie xie. So when we say xie xie, we're gonna do this. Ready? Yi, er, san. Zao shang hao, zao shang hao. Ni hao ma, ni hao ma. Wo hen hao xie xie, wo hen hao xie xie. Ni na, ni na. Good job, my friends. Give me one big round of applause or an earth clap. All right, we're going to get up on our feet and get ready for some superhero movement because it is superhero week. So we are going to start by stretching like who? She's from The Incredibles. Like Elastigirl. I think my cardigan is inside out. <laughs> so we're going to stretch up. And we're gonna stretch down. And we're going to reach to our right. Reach, 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 reach. And reach to our left. Reach, 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 reach. Good job. Can you make your arms into windmills? Good job. And go backwards. Nice. All right, we are going to make our bodies so big like the Hulk. So make your body so big and make your face so big. <sighs> Good job. And then we're going to shrink like Ant-Man. Shrink, 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 shrink. Shrink so small, make your face so small, make your toes small and your shoulders. And turn back into the Hulk. <sighs> And back into Ant-Man. So small. And then go back to your normal self. Ooh, I'm back to my normal self. Can you pat your head? Yeah, you can. Can you rub your tummy? Can you pat your head and rub your tummy? Ooh, it's kind of hard. I can't do it yet. Oh, wait, no, I got it. Yay! Give me a thumbs up if you can do it. And give me a thumbs up if you can't do it yet, but eventually, with enough practice, you'll get it. Good job, my friends. All right, we're going to sit back down, and we're going to sing one song, and then we'll be all done with my part of circle time. And move on to Miss Tessa.
All right. We are going to sing a song that we haven't sung for a long time. It's called All I Really Need, and I'm sure you remember it. So we're going to start with our hands on our heart. This the inside out cardigan is distracting me. All right, ready? All I really need is a song in my heart, food in my belly, and love in my family. All I really need is a song in my heart and love in my family. What do we need? And I need the rain to fall. Nice job, Presley, following along. And I need the sun to shine. Plant some seeds in the ground to give life to the seeds we sow. Bring up some food to give food that we need to grow. All I really need is a song in my heart, food in my belly, and love in my family. All I really need is a song in my heart and love in my family. Yay! Good job, my friends. Give yourselves a big round of applause and give yourselves a big hug too. Yay! And say, oh, and say happy Wednesday. All right, we are going to move on to Miss Tessa. I'm going to spotlight her. Oh, never mind. She's spotlight. And then. Am I spotlighting? No, you're not. There it goes. There we go. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and jump into calendar, starting with our month. And our month is starting with an M. May. May is our month. Now our year. You guys know this one. There's two ways to say it. We have 2020 or 2020. And then we're going to go to our season. And our season is? Starting with an S, spring. Good job. And what do we do after that? We count our days. Starting with one, two, three, four, five, six. The number six. Can you guys show me six fingers? We need two hands for six fingers. We have five fingers on one hand and one finger on the other, which makes six. We go on and put that back in our calendar. We slide up. What is this? Is this uh, our season? No. Is this our year? No, it's our day of the week. And to find out our day of the week, what are we gonna do? Yeah, let's warm our hands and sing our song. Are you ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Thank you for singing with me. So let's start with this card here. Does anybody remember what this word in red is? We always start with this one. Starts with the Y. Yesterday. And yesterday was? Starts with a T. Tuesday. And what's our sign for Tuesday? T. Turn it and circle. Good sign language, my friends. Then we move on to our second part. And our second part's always, what word is this? In red, starting with the letter T. Today. And today is starting with the W. 
Wednesday. Good job. And what's our sign for Wednesday? We make our W. We turn it and circle. Easy peasy. And our last one, what's the last card we always do? Word in red here, starting with the letter T. Tomorrow. And tomorrow we have another T. What's tomorrow going to be? Thursday. And what's our sign for Thursday? That one's not as easy peasy. We make our T and our H. So start with your T. T and then H. And it looks like that over here. T, H. Thursday. Good job doing your sign language with me. And now let's go ahead and recap our day. I'll say it first, so just listen with your listening ears. Today is Wednesday, May 6, 2020. Now this time I want you to repeat it with me, okay? Thumbs up if you're ready. Thank you, all right, let's get started. Today is Wednesday, May 6, 2020. Good job, my friends. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on with Miss Vanessa and listen to a story. So everyone get nice and cozy, open up your listening ears. And here's Miss Vanessa. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Get my chair over. So this book is a deep kindness. I know it's superhero week, but I don't have a lot of superhero books, but I think that kindness is a good superpower to have to show friends kindness all the time. So this book is illustrated by Deborah Underwood. What does the illustrator, I mean the author do? Sorry. The author writes the book, write the words of the book. And this illustrator is Irene Chan. The illustrator does what? They draw the pictures, you're right. I think I heard Marley. <laughs> Let's see, and this book was borrowed from Ms. Raquel. Ms. Raquel brought this book to school for us. So it says, kindness is sometimes a cup and a card. Or a ladder, a truck, and a tree. So helping the kitten get out of the tree and a scratch and a cuddle, a rick and a yard. A cookie and a carrot and a key. So I think it makes the bunny happy to get a carrot and maybe, this looks like maybe a grandson and his grandma getting a cookie makes him feel happy. And then this guy, I think he dropped his key. And this guy was so kind and he said, here's your keys. So he doesn't get sad or upset. It's seeds and feeder, a seat on the train. So letting somebody sit down and letting them have your seat. A daisy, a peach or a pie a wave at a baker, a boost on a crane, a sandwich shared up in the sky. So it's kind of hard to zoom in on, but there it is. Kindness is sometimes a, a tip in a case or a tap when a lace is untied. It's taking a photo or making some space. It's a racket, a rocket, a ride. It's dirt and a shovel, petunias and pails. It's trees that will someday give shade. It's plans and a hammer. It's lumber and nails. So building a house, it's kind. Giving other people somewhere to live. It's houses and cold lemonade. 
So it says free lemonade. They're not selling it, they're giving it for free to make the workers feel better since they're working so, so hard on the house. Kindness is sometimes just taking a break or sitting with someone who's sad. Forgiving yourself when you've made a mistake or forgiving a friend who got mad. So I know today when we were outside, some friends got at Albies and people were checking on them. They're saying, are you okay? So that's very kind to make sure your friends are feeling good. And sometimes we make mistakes like we spill our water or our food, but it's okay. We can always fix it. It's cuddling puppies. It's holding a door. It's a toy and a treat and a comb. It's seeing the animals others ignore. It's a leash and a lick and a home. So making your animals happy. It's very kind. Kindness is sometimes a song or a stick or a high and a bat and a ball. Looks like they're asking this friend to come join their play. It's soup when a neighbor is sneezy and sick, or a scoop of one happy, or a scoop if one happens to fall. I think this would make somebody feel really better if they dropped their food and they were looking forward to it. This one's an ice cream. I would be sad if I dropped my ice cream. But if a friend gave me a new one to make me feel better, it would make me so happy. It's reading a story. It's, feel, it's feeding a fish. It's a bucket, a book, and a yard. It's kissing a sister. It's wishing a wish. It's a bug and a cup and a card. Look, it's a ladybug. Some of our friends today found a ladybug outside and they decided to do something really kind. They protected it and they built a ladybug bed with sand and other things that they thought the ladybug would like so that the ladybug would feel safe. So that's very kind. And then now Miss Tessa is going to do an interactive. So I'm going to scooch out of the picture. <laughs> all right. Thank you, Miss Vanessa. Can all my friends promise me today they'll do at least one thing kind? Can I get a thumbs up if you're going to be kind today, just like in the story? <laughs> Thank you. So now I have an interactive activity. We're going to be dealing with you know how some superheroes, they have a shield that they use to protect themselves? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be looking at pictures of shields. But each shield has a different picture. And we're going to say what that picture is and find out what letter it starts with. We're going to use our sounds and we're going to listen, see if we can figure it out, okay? So let's do it together. This shield, what do you see? here what image is this it's a sun and let's go ahead what sound does sun make in the, the first sound S -s -s. okay now let's go through the letters and we'll see if we can find the sound okay right here we have the letter a what sound does a make ah ah is that the same as S mm. Nope. Let's move up. What letter is this? T. What's the T sound? T. T. Is that the same as S? T. Mm, close. It sounds similar, but not the same. And right here we have the letter S. And the letter S sound makes S. Is that the same as sun? Sun and s. So S is the answer. It starts with S starts with sun. Sun starts with S. <laughs> and we're going to go to our next one. The printer started printing him a little silly, so don't ignore the black square. <laughs> <laughs> this picture here is what kind of animal is that? 
It's an elephant. Good job, my friends. And we're gonna start right here. What letter do we have here? I believe this is an L. And what does the L sound make? Oh, oh, you see my tongue? Oh, L, oh, that looks similar, but it's not the same. So how about this letter here? E, E. Oh, this one's a hard one. This one's tricky. <laughs> this one's a tricky one now that I think about it. Does elephant start with an E? Can you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I'm getting some thumbs up, which is the right answer, but it doesn't really sound like an E. I did not check on this what card before doing it. Elephant starts with an E. We're gonna move on. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> and right here, what picture is this? I'll put up close. We have these around Halloween. Do you guys remember? A pumpkin. Pumpkin. P -p the p sound. So we'll start here at the top. Oh, we have that letter E again. I know you guys know that sound. Eh. And then we have our letter X. And what's the X sound? X. X. Pumpkin? X. Those are really different. And our last letter here, P. And what's the P sound? P. P. I think we found our answer. Pumpkin. Starts with P. P, P. <laughs> good job, my friends. You guys are doing really good. All right, we have another one here. What is this image here? I know my friends love these. What is this called? A rainbow. Good looking. And we're gonna start at the top here. Do you guys know what letter this is? R. What's the R sound? R. Rainbow. R. R. Rainbow. Did we find a match? Was our first one a match? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I'm getting thumbs up. Rainbow starts with R. Since we found the match, let's just see what these letter sounds do. Just, just for fun. All right? So what letter do we have here? D is <laughs> backwards for me. <laughs> we have the letter D. And what does the D sound make? D. Correct. You guys got it. And uh, what about this letter here? I. And what does the I sound make? I. Like igloo. Good job. And let's see, how many more of these do we have? Ooh, this one printed nicely. And I think this is another favorite of my friends. Mm -hmm. A heart. <laughs> and we're going to start at the top here. What letter do we have? The letter C. And what does C make? Like. Do we know any words that start with C? Carrot, cat, heart. Do those start with the same sound? Mm -mm. So we're gonna move on. That wasn't a match, but we have more letters to try. We have our Y here. And what sound does Y make? Yeah, that's a fun one. Yeah. And what words, what words start with a Y? Like, hmm, yellow. Good one. Yellow and heart. Do those start with the same sound? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> hmm. No, so we're gonna go to this letter here. 
What letter is this, my friends? Go ahead and tell me. H, you're right. And what's the H sound? It's like checking your breath. And this, this, this image here, this picture, heart. Heart. I think we found our match. So the word heart starts with the letter H. Good one, my friends. And we have one more, one more. What is this picture here? We use it in the rain. An umbrella, umbrella. And we're gonna start at the top here. What letter do we have? This is an M. And the M sound? Mm, like mommy or monkey. Umbrella. I don't think those are a match. We go, uh, umbrella. Mm, mommy. Mm, my lips weren't the same. That wasn't the right sound. So let's go down to our next letter. What do we have here? A U. And what sound does U make? Uh. Uh, like under or let's see any other U words. Unicorn. Unicorn. We have an umbrella. I see wide eyes. What does that mean, my friends? Umbrella, you, a. Uh. Did we find a match? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up. Good job, my friends. So umbrella starts with the letter U, making the uh sound. Let's do the last letter for funsies. We have a B and the letter B makes what sound? B, B. And what words start with or have that sound in them? B, bunny or ball. But ball and umbrella those don't start with the same sound. All right, that's the end of Interactive today, my friends. You guys did such a good job finding out what sounds match to what letter. And that is it. Street, if you wanna go ahead and end that.